Hi, I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel, and today we're very excited to show you AirDog's newest offering, the AirDog 2 5G. There's a lot going on in the AirDog 2 5G pump. Okay, first off, it's 5G, so we need to get our 10 full hats, 10 full hats out, get protected. See, it's already affected my speech, the 5G pumping off this thing. And then, as soon as I unboxed my first 5G pump, I noticed that it was backwards from what the other pumps were. So if that's not a conspiracy theory, then I don't know what the hell is at this point, honestly. But, however, conspiracy theory or not, 5G, 10 full hats, and who shot JFK aside, AirDog 2 has come to the market with a new hotness, their new 5G pump. All right, so what we want to do today is we want to show you all of the new features on the 5G pump. And I'm going to be honest with you, this really, really centers around them integrating their new diaphragm style regulator into the pump. This is, this is going to be their flagship regulator, for lack of a better word. This is a fully adjustable regulator on every one of the new AirDog 2 5G pumps that comes on it that is adjustable from 7 to 70 PSI. Now obviously it's going to be preset at your specific platform's uh, required pressure um, for your truck so you don't have to worry about doing anything to it. You can just install this on the truck and go. Now we suggest for you to check the fuel pressure on it but Yes, this is going to be preset for your truck, but if you need to do some adjusting on that for whatever your situation might be, it's totally easy to access this diaphragm style pressure regulator. This regulator, if you'll notice, um, this, reg this style of regulator was actually on the uh, Raptor 4G pumps, it had been for a little while. It's actually got a boost compensation port here on the bottom of the pressure regulator. So if you need to add a boost line for this for some of your higher horsepower applications so that you will be able to get better fuel flow or a higher fuel pressure uh, to keep you, uh, well, to, be, to, de to, to give the fuel to the engine that you need for the demand of your higher horsepower applications, Whew, boy, I messed that up. You're gonna be able to boost compensation port. They've been on regulators for a long, long time. Now they're integrated into the AirDog 2 5G's regulator. Okay, so um, talk about the features of the motor. The motor is the 4G style, and I'm gonna show you a side-by-side -side comparison of it. So all of, the, uh, all of the great things about the AirDog 2 4G motor is carried over into this product as well. I was talking about it being backwards. It was just kind of, um, kind of an inside joke that uh, uh, that we had today. But I think what you're seeing more in these trucks now is these pumps are actually being oriented towards inside of the frame rail. Because on the outside of the frame rail, you got a lot of different things going on. You've got obviously parking brake cable. Uh, on some vehicles, you've got uh, the def tank or whatever. You know whatever goes on there. Uh, and you also got the integration of power steps that are coming along a lot of these vehicles. So more and more of these pumps are being mounted on the inside of the frame rail. Now, mounted to the inside of the frame rail, if you mount, mounted this pump to the inside of the frame rail and you wanted to mount it with the stickers and the regulator pointing towards the outside or pointing towards the, pointing towards the outside of the frame rail, this would be the orientation that you would have and then you would have your outlet port for your engine going forward towards the engine. On the previous style, it was actually reversed to that. It was almost more oriented if you wanted your air dog sticker and, and whatnot pointing towards the outside of your truck and the engine lines pointing forward. It, it oriented that way. That was part of the 5G joke, but I'm probably the only one that thought that was funny. Hell, I don't know. But what else comes in the 5G kit as well? So we've talked about our 5G pump and all the goodness that is the 5G. Of course, again, these pumps, lifetime warranty that you've always had from AirDog, the same things to expect from, from AirDog, the quality, um, you know, lifetime warranty, quiet motors, bulletproof motors, all the things. They also did a lot of engineering changes on the wiring harness that you're going to be receiving. They went from 14 gauge wire to 12 gauge wire. Uh, and this is going to be 12 gauge wire all the way from the battery to the pumps, um, to the pumps plug-in. So all of, they've taken the low pressure 
uh, warning light out of this harness so that is gone so now you're down to just a few wires inside of the harness obviously you've still got your relay still got your trigger wire coming off this all this is the same it's just a couple wires short because you don't have your um, low pressure fuel light integrated inside of this harness but they've they've beefed everything up here again 12 gauge wire you've also got a new style connector that they are using at the pump that is a, a lot more of a robust connector just a better overall uh, quality wiring harness. Now you're still getting your same uh, fuel line with this. This is 300 PSI regulated half inch fuel line ready to go. Comes in the box, everything you need so you're not going to have to go out to the store and buy um, more fuel line. One thing that I had forgot to mention on the new 5G is a couple of things that they've done with their threading sizes for their fittings or their fitting sizes. So in a um, I guess in a movement to try to get to where you can be able to use all AN fittings on this pump, AirDoc has followed suit with that and changed the fitting sizes to be able to match up with AN fittings. So if you guys don't want to use the quick connect fittings that come in the thing, if you want to do this all AN fittings, you're good to go for that on thread sizes now. You can totally do this whole kit in AN fittings. You know, a lot of guys like to do that. And you know, just for cleanliness of the cleanliness of the install, you can totally do that with a fitting size. Also, on the air dog return, they have gotten away from that that small return that they were using before. They've had a lot of breakages with. They've gone to a seven sixteenths um, return on this, so it's a it's a, a a bigger return size. So you're not going to have all the breakage on that uh, that we were having on some of the previous models. Now you have your um, you also have your integrated port for your um, fuel pressure gauge, electronic gauge, however you want to do it, that is here. Um, that is here as well. The now that you've got a close up look at this, the regulator on the AirDog 5G is much easier to access, whereas on the 4G it was in the fuel filter base. Now it's part of the um, the gear rotor um, side cover here, so it's it's easier to access for you. All the same thing, still got the, the easy access gear rotor cover so you can pop it off, clean your gear rotor out, whatever you need to do on that. So now as Adam's still got me zoomed in here, I'm going to move over and bring our 4G motor. That thing will sit there without flopping over. I might have to catch that too, Adam. Whoa! We'll bring our 4G pump in and Awesome. Look at that. So we'll talk the on the um, the advantages of the 4G motor. All right. So with 4G motor, you've got your four bearing design that is inside of here. You've got two bearings inside of the motor. You've got two bearings inside of the um, the gear rotor housing that keeps everything aligned. You've got your love joy comp uh, coupling it here as well. Alignment on this and just keeping this aligned and stable is going to go a long, long ways into keeping you in not having wore out fuels, or wore out seals in these pumps where you will have fuel intrusion making into the electric motor and take out the motor. That doesn't happen anymore. They have taken that out with your intermediate shaft, love joy coupling, all the things. The 4Gs you'll remember had um, the uh, regulator, which is, was adjustable as well, on the outside of the base. Now, it's still on the outside of the pump, but it's just in a, uh, it's just a better, um, better regulator, and it's more easy for you to access as well. Go back through some of the stuff. I make sure that I got all of the talking points here. The 5G is released in 165 gallon per hour flow and 220 gallon per hour flow. The 220 is going to take the place of the old 200 gallon per hour, 200 gallon per hour kits. The 220 gallon per hour kits on your fuel inlet side, they have done some porting and polishing basically on the uh, fuel inlet side here that's going to smooth out the transition of the fuel. It's going to keep you from having the fuel cavitation on those higher, uh, higher flow pumps. So that's something that you're going to get in the 220 gallon per hour. Um, talked about the filter sizes, 4G motor technology. I think we've got everything we needed there. Uh, the motors are low amp, so they're very quiet motor. Uh, Self-aligning motor, we talked about that. The dual feed gear rotor pump uh, cover that's going to get you higher uh, higher fuel flow so you just don't have to worry about any kind of cavitation because of restrictions or anything because of the gear rotor cover and yeah that is it 
lifetime warranty, brand new AirDog 5G, something that we've been waiting a while for. We knew this was coming. We're very excited to have it out in the marketplace and offer it to you. So we will be linking you inside of this video to the AirDog 5G offerings. And if you have any questions about any AirDog products, just give us a call. Please, we always, uh, um, we always appreciate you liking and subscribing to our channel. And thank you for watching. I don't know what any of this means, but apparently you can buy t-shirts on YouTube now. So we're going to link you directly on here on YouTube in the video somewhere where you can go and you can purchase Thoroughbred Diesel swag. It'll be great. You don't have to leave your video or the YouTube realm or whatever in the hell goes on here. Go here, buy yourself some Thoroughbred Diesel swag.